Is there a destination, a moment in time when we are there being authentic? Is really about releasing judgment, really about dropping judgment. The only thing that drives us to put on personas is the fear of judgment and humiliation. And so if we learn to release judgment, if we learn to be with ourselves and be accepting of ourselves no matter what, then we can begin to explore who we are and what is true for us. How do we learn to balance self-compassion and compassion for others? To work on oneself is automatically has a reverberating effect positively on your relationships with other people. So if you learn to be self-compassionate, and that doesn't mean condoning, it means understanding why you do what you do and being curious about that instead of critical. So not being critical of yourself, being curious and understanding and always striving to be there for you no matter what. When we develop this ability to be self-compassionate, to be there for ourselves no matter what, then we have a greater ability to be present and open to other people. And that includes being able to say no to other people. When you say the practice of self-compassion, would that also mean loving ourselves unconditionally? I guess what I think of in terms of self-compassion goes back to this idea of it's not not holding ourselves accountable. So self-compassion holds us accountable. It's not giving us a free pass to say, look, whatever you do is okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, not necessarily. You can, you know, we can all hurt other people intentionally or not. It's about holding oneself accountable, but being understanding, curious about why, perhaps why you did what you did, and helping yourself to course correct with love. What is freedom to you these days? Freedom to me is uh, releasing judgment. And uh, I just can't say enough about that. And what I mean by judgment is criticism, criticism of ourselves, criticism of other people. When we are critical of ourselves, um, we are threatening ourselves. Uh, we're creating stress in our bodies. And people do this multiple times a day um, without even realizing it. Um, we're also quite critical of each other. Um, and that creates stress both for us and the other person because we see the other person as the enemy. When we release judgment, again, releasing judgment is not condoning bad behavior. It's being less critical and promoting curiosity and understanding of why people do what they do. But releasing judgment really is the key to releasing anxiety. <laughs>